Sylvia Massey shares a bunch of recording techniques and experiments through her YouTube channel and her book, Recording Unhinged. In this video, I'm going to be testing three of her techniques, all of which involve a snare drum. Let's get to it. Learn audio engineering. Learn audio now. Sound strategies to sound goals. Hi, I'm Robert from LearnAudioEngineering.com. What can I say? Sylvia Massey has a special place in the heart of this channel. My very first video was a Sylvia Massey video, which she herself also shared. It also became the most viewed video on this channel until recently. So we need another Sylvia video, and I know just what we're gonna do. We're gonna test another experimental recording technique from her book. The first technique sounded like it was a lot of fun to try. Sylvia had posted a video of herself recording an isolated snare track through a guitar cabinet with the snare placed on top with the batter side facing down into the speaker. When the speaker would play back the recorded take, the speaker would excite the snare with every hit, giving the effect that that snare had been used to record in the first place. This is reamping. this is OG sample replacement technology. What this also allows you to do is record the room, and that's what you're gonna do to get the huge, big snare sound in the mix. Now this second technique stuck out to me because it is quite odd. It involves cutting a hole in the rug beneath your snare to increase the liveliness of the snare while also dampening the rest of the kit. So if you're a little bit skeptical about cutting up your favorite drum rug, don't worry, I was too. If you wanna try this out at home, you could substitute some connectable foam tiles and leave an open space for the snare and even go as far as to place the snare stand on a hard surface if your floor is carpeted. Now, I wasn't really sure that this technique would do too much. Uh, it would largely depend on the room that you're recording in, so I doubled up on the carpeting under the snare to see if I could enhance the comparison. And remember to check your local thrift store for old rugs to cut up. Let's check it out. You know, I'm a bit uh, undecided on this one. I don't really know if I, if I dig it or not, but I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments. Now for our third secret snare technique, I'm going to be singing through a snare drum. Oh. Now at first listen, it may sound like a chainsaw, but let's figure out how to make this work in the mix. So in Recording Unhinged, this trick is credited to Steve Albini and it's pictured with somebody singing into the underside snare wires. Now that's snare buzz, could be enhanced by singing into the batter side where the uh, snares would then be closer to the mic. Although the range of pitch that will be excited by the snares is, um, is a little bit limited. So I found it difficult to get any consistency of tone while singing standard phrases. So instead I opted to create a melody that was in favor of consistent staccato notes instead of relying on many sustained notes. Of course, you can play around with the tension of the snare wires and see what works well for you. The good stuff comes from exploring new possibilities within existing limitations. So here's a mix that uses the snare singing effect with some processing, as well as the stereo reamped snare sound.
So I really love this snare reamping technique, especially in this mix where all of the drums were programmed. Recording the snare room sound in the real world with real microphones and a real snare and some air in between creates this really nice worldizing effect, which gives the purely digital mix a real acoustic sense of space and acoustic information that can really help to enhance the sense of space in a mix. So my question for you for this video is what's your favorite way of creating the perception of space and depth within a mix? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, consider checking out Sylvia's book, Recording Unhinged. It's filled with unique techniques, wisdom, tips, and interviews from many top-notch producers and engineers and from Sylvia herself. I definitely recommend it for you yourself or as a gift. And if you're just getting into recording, head over to learnaudioengineering.com and I'll send you a free copy of my number one best-selling book, How to Record Anything with Clarity and Character, which will teach you all about the basics of microphone technique and digital recording. A link to both of those books are in the description. Thanks for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more fresh weekly content. It really helps me out when you do that. And as always, happy mixing and I'll see you in the next video.